and begin. Hi. Hi. We have oh, been doing this in two months. I need a hug right now. Uh, I would love a hug as well. Oh, uh, I need a gay man hug. Oh. You gay men can give a good hug. I feel Just... like I do give a good hug, actually. I'm definitely a hugger. I'm not a hugger, but sometimes you need a hug. Mm. I'm a hugger depending on who it is. Uh-huh. I mean, like, yeah. if I don't fuck with you, like, you're not. Before I forget, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Young Millennials Podcast. I'm Lex, here with my co-host, Billy. Bitch. Billy bitch. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, I'm just, like, I don't want to say down bad, because I'm never down that bad, but, like, not feeling hot. Not feeling hot. And you know what, what it is? It's being a woman. It's just being a woman. Meaning that time of the month? Yeah. And it's not even here yet. That's the best part. Like, mm. as a woman, you feel like shit the week up, like, leading up to it, the week of your period, and then, like, a few days after. Mm. So, like, you're only really good for, like, five days of the month. <laughs> and, like, I'm just depressed. Like, I'm sad. It's one of those things. Like, I can't really do anything about it. I'm going to fake it till I make it. But, oh. I always say this. I can't believe that it's every month. Every fucking month. Like every day uh, not every day every month until you're like 50 years old uh, and i think i got mine anything. i think i was like 12 most he, mm-hmm. most girls get it around then mm-hmm. so you're telling me for nearly 40 years i have to deal with this once a month it's fucking bullshit but you know what women would be too powerful i'm just not feeling too hot but i don't want to bring the mood down i feel like this is gonna help me and I'm also the kind of person where my mood is very weather dependent and it has been garbage this past weekend. Oh, oh, yeah. So it's actually blue skies today, sunny. I'm going to force myself to be outside. Yeah, I'm going to just like little... run, run till yeah. I can't anymore. Yeah, I'm going to run little... today. Like I'm Holy running. We actually haven't recorded in so long, which is crazy like um a, um, you, mm, well over a week yeah you went to la you saw Nicki minaj in la she was great i was actually really not expecting a lot from her and from what i've heard like i know she goes on notoriously late to the stage was she she no she wasn't but like mm. rumor had it she was going to get on stage like 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. And I'm like, that's when I need to be going home. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I think she was she was honestly great. She fucking for... slayed. She looked so good. Mm-hmm. I think for my show, she was like on time. I don't know. Madonna's the worst, apparently. And, you know, Madonna, she makes the venue turn off the air condition. What? Because she's old and she gets cold. Stop. <laughs> In Miami... She wanted them to shut it off, and I guess they didn't. And she was, like, pissed the whole performance and, like, talking to, like, I feel the air, like, stuff like that. Like, in Miami, you need the air condition on you. She's also scary looking. I know. If I saw her in the street, I wouldn't know it's Madonna. Well, now I would because I know she looks fucking horrifying. But (laughs) I saw a picture from maybe, like, a year or two ago, and I was like, wait, what? What is this? They She's know, horrifying. Very interesting. Too much fucking plastic, well, uh, plastic surgery and Botox. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, my weekend so, wasn't too great. I mean, I guess we can't go into it, but you definitely had a crazy Friday and then things kind of yeah. flattened out. You went to the Jets game, I, uh, which is cool, but the weather kind of ruined it. I low-key wish I didn't go. I would have went dog, Billy. Really, it didn't football. stop raining. Mm. It didn't stop raining. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to stop at 11, and then it got pushed to 12, and then it got pushed to 1, and it just never stopped raining. We were all wet dogs. And Horrible. It, w- it was a close game, though, right? They fucking sucked. It was 10 to 9. That's not a football score. <laughs> yeah, they blew no. it. They fucking blew it. They didn't score in the whole first quarter. It was just garbage. The Jets suck. Sorry, y'all. Jets are not good. <laughs> oh, you're really but an Eagles girl, right? I'm an Eagles fan, but they lost this weekend, too. I'm like low-key over my own personal team and i'm just watching it for the sport you know Mm -hmm. i think i'm still processing this whole weekend but i've also been like i said like i'm not myself like i'm not feeling it like i go through these weird things mentally where it's like one day i'm like i'm the best who wouldn't like me and then the next day it's like why would anyone like me you know Mm -hmm. it's the Mm -hmm. constant tug of war in my fucking head 
and like I know I'm great but then like I have those little moments of self-doubt where it's like no one actually really likes you and mm-hmm. I'm like stop it stop it intrusive thoughts so bad and that's what I'm going through right now so mm-hmm. I just texted my therapist this morning and I said hey girl are you around Wednesday she said yes I am I said perfect SOS <laughs> perfect yeah um so I will sort uh, my stuff out yeah totally we are always I said this too in the past but we're always on the different vibes because I am thriving living i know you had a great weekend billy was drunk texting me this weekend (laughs) oh my god the voice no (laughs) wait billy i was when i tell you i was in tears laughing me and my sister we were crying wait i was that was pretty beyond (laughs) no you were out of pocket (laughs) out of pocket uh and then i think i just stopped (laughs) i was here for it i was here for it no i think i stopped answering (laughs) Mm. oh maybe that was that (laughs) <laughs> or maybe we both just stopped answering. Yeah, but I, I also yeah. like, I wasn't feeling great Saturday either. And I was supposed to be making friendship bracelets with my sister. And she was just like, are you over this? And I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I'm just not. So I'm you not still, you need a part three now? We, well, we have like 40 bracelets made, but oh. like something about it doesn't feel like a lot of bracelets. Oh, wait, this is like where you give it to like people? Uh-huh. Like we're going to oh. go and like switch bracelets with people at the Taylor Swift concert, which is in like. It's kind of coming up. Something like that. It's so. Oh, wait, it's less it, than three weeks. It's October. It's about to be October tomorrow, and the concert's October eighteenth. Oh, for in my head, I was thinking November. Wow, oh, it's God, really no, coming it's up. So soon. Oh my god. We have to coordinate. I have to see you. Yeah, totally. So, yeah, I have a lot going on. I feel like you know when you feel like you have a lot to do, but you check your schedule and you're like, I don't have anything, but there's like some kind of weight on you. It's like, I feel like I have things I have to do, like events. And Again, such. the opposite. I just posted the craziest weekly schedule goal that I've ever posted. And I'm so overwhelmed, but I'm already doing my second thing of the day. And okay. I gotta okay. like Good. edit and just stay in my flow because I've really been like thriving in my schedule and you need these, structure yeah i i actually this morning like i mastered my like notes app um weekly like schedule thing where like i'll like tap when i finish like oh good, good and good, good, it's good. just like very yeah, aesthetic great. like looking <laughs> it's all about the aesthetic <laughs> yeah um i still been doing like the treadmill i think it's been How like three times a week this past two weeks i really want to get to four but three is the minimum so mm-hmm. like i'm not like sucking completely three is more than zero yeah but i feel like i could do four this week i don't know i'm like gonna be like a super gay this week so okay we'll love see. that for you i really need to get into like a, a workout regimen routine but my job life should be drastically changing in about a month, so oh, yeah. I think it's it's going to help my life a lot. Our, I don't know if this is for another time or place, but did you figure that stuff out with the moving? Are you able to move? Yeah, I, I sorted it. I'm going ahead oh, with the move. Thank God. Um, I don't want to say like I'm hesitant because I'm not, but... Again, intrusive thoughts. It's like one of those things like this is too good to be true kind of thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, but I I'm going to do it. Agree, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I'm telling myself that sometimes God just throws obstacles in your path and you have to overcome them. Mm-hmm. Shit isn't always going to be easy, you know? I mean, but I don't see anything bad around that. I don't see no. any badness. Like it's closer. It's a better area. Like, oh, no, the, like that whole thing is going to be great. It's just like logistically like the legality contract things about it it's like it's a long it's story. just a, a lot yeah overwhelming yeah. like stupid loopholes things like that mm-hmm. things i have to like low-key worry about but i'm not gonna worry about them it's gonna be fine and like it's yeah. gonna improve my quality of life drastically like going from a half hour drive to work to a seven to eight minute drive to work that's beautiful amazing mm-hmm. amazing so mm-hmm. I like have that in the back of my head. I feel like that's kind of weighing on me because I know all the things I have to do in the next month or so, like preparing and moving in general is fucking miserable. Mm-hmm. And like moving your work is also miserable and just that's all in the back of my mind. So 
I feel like that's going to weigh on me. But then after that, I feel like it's going to be great. And I'm going to really get into it. And I yeah. feel like my focus of this upcoming winter is really going to be grinding on myself. Gem girl, grinding. So Kind of is going to go into what I want to talk about. Okay. So how about we just start Billy's fall episode? Can we title yes. this Billy's fall episode? <laughs> because Billy hit me up and he was like, I have a great idea for the next episode. It's going to be a fall episode. And me, I'm like, I don't know what that is, but... Sure, Bill. Whatever you want. I trust you. <laughs> I'm kind so of... So I'm going into this blind. Yeah, I'm kind of throwing it back to, like, old YouTube tag vibe days. Okay. Um, but, like... I used to love those videos. I used to love doing them Iconic. and watching them. Hold on. Turn off low power mode. <laughs> you don't have the button on your thing? I didn't know where it was, and we don't have time right now. <laughs> <laughs> and it keeps shutting off, and it's, like, throwing me the fuck off. My whole new thing, shout out to the YouTuber Darling Desi because she truly changed my life. She's pretty much like this cottagecore, like vibey lifestyler, heavy on the autumn. (laughs) (laughs) She like loves fall and all like that. Everything she does is aesthetic. That just always inspires me and like I've been struggling with like my main channel and like finding a path. I'm just honing in on what is next over there and it's really exciting and through her video she kind of we're romanticizing life so you said like we need to do it yes you said the winter thing so Mm -hmm. like through like her like videos I don't even know if like it's her thing exactly but it just inspired me to I want to start taking each season and romanticizing it and having a fresh start, planning out the vibes for the months coming Mm -hmm. forward to keep things new, keep things fun and interesting. Yeah, she did like this fall starter pack video and I don't know, it just like really is cringe, but it's okay. (laughs) I know, I love it, I love it. I think of starter pack and I think back to like the Tumblr days where like you would see like the the photos and it's like fall starter pack to me is like uggs you know big chunky scar yeah 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 i don't know it was like it just leaves candle from bath and body works (laughs) are you you kidding me i just bought i forgot i oh my god i didn't even light this i have my pumpkin bonfire but i have that has to be a new one yeah, I think it is. I like it. Danielle didn't, and neither did my mom, and neither did my dad. <laughs> but I like that's why it's in here. Um, but the leave one is out there actually, which is leaves is a classic. It's on my uh, my TV stand right now. Oh my god! But yeah, so I'm just like in this whole new aesthetic. I'm in the cozy fall vibe, and mm-hmm. like I've been liking the rain because it's matching the vibes for me. But no, I Billy, hate that for you. we hate the rain. To add on to that, I've been someone who is like, I only like summer. I miss summer. When the summer's gone, I think about summer. And that just makes my life miserable the rest of the year. So last year, I worked on just like leaning into it and accepting it and making your life as comfortable as it could be in these other seasons. Like winter, I freaking hate winter, but there's nothing you could do about it. So you have to romanticize romanticize it. it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it it did help winter didn't suck that bad last year i also went away for a month during winter so maybe that helped too but mm-hmm. you know you just have to lean into it you can't fight it and that's, i feel like I'm here af- for this. after the summer i think i hate summer i'm so no. fucking done with it billy yeah. you shut your mouth <laughs> it's too but hot this is fitting because tomorrow is october 1st mm-hmm. and i'm actually gonna start decorating for fall today mm-hmm. so we're gonna do a nice clean in here if i can muster up the energy um nice clean oh you're off today right yeah it's monday right yeah um i'm also off this wednesday i don't know why i gave myself off but like listen i'm here for it i'm here for it i deserve it i guess we can go i have a 12 questions whoa Uh, (laughs) okay buckle up ladies and gents and you just ruined my first one. But, oh, no. I'm sorry. Cause, cause the first question is, what is your favorite season and why is it fall? No. <laughs> it's summer. 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 You know okay. the scene in High School Musical when what time they're is like it? waiting? <laughs> no. Well, yes. Summer. But like, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're leading, summer. like summer, summer. 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 That's me all what year when it's not it? summer. Summertime. It's our vacation. <laughs> 
iconic. <laughs> what would be your second? Because I think mine is fall and spring. Spring. Mm. Summer, spring, fall, winter. Spring because it's my birthday. And also I just like love the crispness in the air and knowing that after spring, summer comes. Because after fall is winter. Mm-hmm. Winter is coming. Winter and I don't like coming. that. Uh-huh. You know? So I just I would, know that after spring is summer. Yeah, I would do fall, spring, summer, winter. Okay. I'm a All winter right. baby. So we're a little backwards. So. Yeah. But um, not too off. This is kind of a funny one. What do you think about the word autumn? <laughs> I, I feel like you say the word autumn and I immediately think of like white girl aesthetic, like cardigans. Again, like, does back anyone to the Tumblr actually days. say that? No, no one says that. Like, I think that's a little cringe. You would see, like, the group of white girls lined up in, like, cardigans, like, walking together with their knee-high boots on, like, with their hats. You know, like, those hats. Mm -hmm. That's what I think of when you say autumn. (laughs) (laughs) I wonder if, like, people in other countries more so say autumn than fall or something like that. Um, I also just learned the word autumnal, which is... I never knew that word. Yeah, no. <laughs> the mm-hmm. Desi YouTuber, she uses it every other sentence. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, and shout out to Julia Wolf, which is the shirt I'm wearing. She actually has Autumn tattooed on her, which is kind of cool. She said it's like her favorite word. I actually don't hate Autumn as a name. Ooh. Like someone's name. Yeah. Like, I feel like Autumn is a girl I'd want to date. I feel like she would like be low key crazy, but oh, uh, but I feel like she would be a good time and like mysterious. I'm, I'm inspired. I need to write something with a girl named Autumn. <laughs> okay, write it down. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah. Um, because yeah, I kind of think Autumn is cringe to say, but I would love that as a name. Oh my god. Yeah, good name. Good name. Good name. Number three is favorite fall drink. I am not a pumpkin spice latte girl. You say fall drink and I just think Starbucks, but you mean like fall drink in general? You have to try the new the pecan, Starbucks. Right? It's pecan? 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 I say pecan. Oh, pecan. Oh, I guess I should. Pecan. Crunch? Something like that. It's their it's newest fall words. flavor. I'm always like a custom order these days. Mm-hmm. And like that needs no customization. Like it's an easy no button. Yeah, no. Okay, edits, I don't no know notes. how I feel about pecan, pecan as a flavor in general. Mm. But for you, I'll try it and report back because mm. I think I told you the other day my friend made me get it for her, and I was like, "Wait, what even is this drink? I had no idea it existed." So mm-hmm. I'll try. Shout it. out to you in my upcoming vlog. Oh my god, I went to the sun's rise and on the beach the other day it was freaking amazing and i went to starbucks and i got the matcha with the strawberry yes it was just like good it was so good i mean that was the second time it was so good the first time but it was just like kind of lingering in my mind and for some reason i i got that so she will be featured in the vlog (laughs) it's so good but it's so expensive yeah it's almost a ten dollar drink, and I've been adding espresso shots to my matcha now, and it was literally twelve dollars the other day. Oh my gosh! I got the smaller one, so it might have been a little less, and I did use my stars, so it did help too. But if you use two hundred stars or twenty five like, stars, I probably like it wasn't a free drink. Not a free drink. I'm just oh, meaning, okay, I'm, just I, a discounted. Okay, yeah. Okay. So yes. I was like, Billy, if you're using two hundred stars, you max that thing out. Yeah, no. You make it a twelve dollar drink. Yeah, no. <laughs> Okay, moving on. So yeah, I don't I don't really have a favorite fall drink. I like from Starbucks the apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso. Have you had that one? <laughs> the next question would have been pumpkin spice or apple flavor. Apple. <laughs> well, so here's the thing. I love me... pumpkin pie. Am I ruining more questions <laughs> yes. by saying pumpkin pie? I'm just not going to speak. I actually I don't like apple flavor. So I would pick pumpkin spice. I don't like apple juice. I like apple I'm juice. I'm very picky with my apple flavors. Mm-hmm. I don't like apple juice, but I like apple sauce. I like apple pie. I like apple crisp shaken espresso. Mm. But I love pumpkin pie, but don't like pumpkin flavor things. Okay. Very uh, weird. I'm an interesting girl. Pumpkin pie is probably my favorite pie, actually. I do it's like... It's the best pie. 
Yeah, I do like, I wish I liked apple pie more, but I love it like with vanilla ice cream, like that vibe. Mm -hmm. Thing is, I don't like cooked fruit in general. So like, I like the reminiscences of the apple pie. I understand. Like, you know what I mean? Like the flavors of it, but not the texture of like the cooked fruit. Yeah. I Mm -hmm. actually never liked apple pie and Tori... It's the first time I'm name dropping her on this up on our podcast. Shout Tori out. put me on years ago. We were stoned one day. Went to a McDonald's. I and, love those. Oh, I take back what I said. She got the apple pie. She got the apple pie, and she didn't want it heated up. She liked it like a room temp or like a little cold. So the apples were like more firm and not so like mm. mushy. Oh my god, it changed my life. I was going to McDonald's every day. <laughs> Mm. and that inspired I... me to make my own apple pie eventually so oh, you made it i not like that but now my new thing on thanksgiving the morning of thanksgiving i make an apple pie so i don't have to help set up for thanksgiving mm. <laughs> i'm like sorry mom i have to make my pie and she's like no no do your thing i know it takes a lot <laughs> so this is gonna be my third year in a row making my pie and it comes out so good i do a great i do a great job See, I think they're so pretty and aesthetic, and I wish I liked it more, because I've always wanted to make an apple pie, but, like, I don't... They're fun to make. They look fun to make. Question six. Do you like falling rain or crackling fireplace as an ambience? (laughs) I've been into, like, putting on those things on YouTube, uh like, the vibes. I don't know. That's a good one. Right? What's your I, answer? I'll be annoying and say both. <laughs> That's no. You said or. Okay. Then rain. Rain or fire. Definitely rain, I, actually. I think rain might be mine, too. Mm-hmm. I think. But I, I do like. I just, we experience it more. Right. I do like the idea of like the crackly fireplace with the rain outside, you know. Mm, can that's we have like, both? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the truest vibe, I would I would say, I guess. For Seppin, which you also ruined. <laughs> Have you purchased any fall decor yet? So I haven't like purchased my own. I just have from years past. Do you have already? Um, actually, you know what? I did purchase. Let me. I'm gonna Mm. grab it. Hold on. Yay! Yay. But I bought this. (gasps) That absolutely counts. Hello from Target. The the dollar section, but it was five dollars. Wait, you bought a cat and I bought a dog. Did you see Nelly? Wait, I bought the dog too. (gasps) Oh, I didn't see. Oh, you're talking about what you bought. Yeah. Um. No, but they had a dog pillow too. Wow. And I got that one too. But this is it like Halloweeny. Yeah, it's like a doggy with a little like witch hat on. I'll send you a picture of it. Okay. Um, this one was just right over here, mm-hmm. but this has been sitting, I have it on my, my chair that faces my door when I walk in the house and when it's dark and I just see this sitting, I think it's one of my cats, but I'm like, <gasps> wait, that's not the cats. That's, that's a pillow. <laughs> so yeah, this is, I actually purchased this this year, but other than that, I've, uh, had the fall decor. Mm. I, it's in the attic. I had my whole like fall day yesterday of like buying stuff, but I'm going to save that for my vlog. <laughs> Okay. A, do you have a favorite fall movie? Which I guess could be like a Halloween one or just like... Yeah, like a Halloween movie. But also it could be like when <laughs> Sally met Harry or something like that. Harry met Sally. Right. <laughs> Dyslexic. <laughs> um, I don't know why you said fall and I immediately thought Mean Girls just because of like it's October 3rd. Like mm. that's not a fall movie though. But like I watch it every October no, 3rd. No, I used that's to joke that that's my, it's my favorite Halloween movie. <laughs> Okay, because and then they dress up like they have Halloween, but they also do Christmas. So it's like I guess like it's a multi seasonal movie, but it's a holiday really have, film. Like, <laughs> it is a holiday film. I don't really have like I'm not like a hocus pocus girl. I don't really Obsessed like scary movies. But you've What's seen that hocus Mary pocus? Kate and Ashley movie, <laughs> Double Trouble, Toil and Trouble, whatever it is, when they're little kids oh, yeah. and they're witches. <laughs> uh-huh. That's my vibe. But you've seen hocus pocus? Yes. Yeah. Only within the past few years. But yes. Oh my God. You know, so my brother loves Hocus Pocus and I feel like I've just watched it through him watching it because he's one of those when we were growing up as kids. If he was on a movie, he was on it for weeks Mm -hmm. and he would just watch that that Mm -hmm. over and over. He's autistic Billy. So, (laughs) yes, neurodivergent. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I feel like every movie. I've just seen it through him watching it over and over and over again. And like I can recite lines from the movies 
like Hocus Danielle Pocus. Danielle is Winifred Sanderson. <laughs> I, the, no, the main she way. is. She the main literally way. is. <laughs> you weren't here when we had a party a few years ago, and she dressed up as her. No, I was there. I don't know if she you dressed... You were at that party? Maybe she wore it twice. I feel like she's done it a few times. You weren't there when she did the performance, right? I was. <laughs> And I was Wait. dressed as Takashi Six Nine. <laughs> it's jo- Joel's Joel. only party. Oh my god, we were there together. I was a vampire, but like I, oh, which is ruining the stop. Okay. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Favorite autumnal food, which autumnal. I think autumnal <laughs> <laughs> food, which I guess I think my answer was going to be pumpkin pie. I love me a pie. But you know what I was thinking about today, which Mm -hmm. I guess this like ties into. I was actually thinking about this last night um, because I was thinking about what to make today to eat. I love me like a crock pot, like a soup, a chili. Mm -hmm. Can you say that's an an autumnal food? I I don't make crock pot meals in the summer. No. But I need I kind of want like a good chili. Chili Mm -hmm. is my favorite autumnal food. (laughs) (laughs) I'll take that. A nice hot bowl of chili. Or like, <laughs> I was thinking about like a shepherd's pie. Like the I don't know potatoes. if I've ever had that. Oh, it's still, it's like a savory pie. If you love pie, you'll love shepherd's pie. There's like mashed potatoes, mm. ground beef, gravy, some veggies. Ooh, I would try that. Yeah. Maybe this fall. Pie. I'm missing my shepherd's pie like a high maintenance chick missing her diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Halloween plans? Yes and no. So since I am an auntie, I have nephews and they go trick or treating. And of course I go with them. So my sister, Amanda, just told me yesterday that my nephew, Luke, has officially decided on being Bluey for Halloween. And last year he was Super Mario and I was Donkey Kong to like play the role, you know. And so this year he said he's being Bluey. So I bought a onesie to be Bluey's sister, which I found out Bluey's sister is bingo. So I'm going to be bingo, and my nephew's going to be Bluey, and I'm going to go trick-or-treating with them. Um, you knocked <laughs> you knocked out my last three questions in that answer. <laughs> I was literally going to ask you, what was your last costume, and what, your, what are you going to be oh. this year? <laughs> no! Well, that's like... So, so Donkey Kong, I, I didn't react because I was just like... <laughs> That is so freaking cute. I love that. It was that. a onesie. It was a, a nice, cute. cozy onesie. And I don't know who Bluey is. I, like, I it kind of do. It's like the popular kids show for the past few years. They're like yeah. Australian dogs. And uh, uh-huh. it's a really cute show. Um, And apparently, so my nephew actually came to get a haircut from me the other day. Uh-huh. And I have a TV in my room at work. So I asked, like, what do you want to watch? And he said, Bluey. And my brother-in-law was like, he literally only watches Bluey here. Like, he doesn't watch Bluey at home. But when he comes here, he wants to watch Bluey. And now mm-hmm. he wants to be Bluey for Halloween. So I like to and think it's you're because being of being like, Yes. Are you being... <laughs> oh, totally. Are you... You said you're being, like, Bluey's best friend or something Bluey's like sister. Bluey's sister. Sister. Even Bluey better. Bluey's sister. Um, That's so cute. But in terms of, like, adult Halloween, I... So let me let me put this out here. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays because I love dressing up. I don't know okay. if you've seen my outfits in years past, but I take it to the next level. I embody wow. the person who I'm being. I'm usually like a specific person in pop culture so I can replicate love them that. one-on-one. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm sure I've showed you, but I was... The Miley Cyrus VMAs one year oh with God, the foam yeah. finger. Uh-huh. Like one to one. One to mm-hmm. one. Like, I'll DIY my costume. Oh, man. I take it so seriously. But with that being said, I feel like in the past few years, I really haven't been able to get, like, a great pop culture moment for, for a Halloween costume. Mm-hmm. Um, so right now, like, I'm thinking... I don't think I'll end up doing this, but right now, the top of my head at the forefront is I want to be the Australian Olympic breakdancer. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, I don't know who that <laughs> is. Because I feel like it would hysterical. just be hysterical. You've had to see the memes of the Australian breakdancer, the girl. Mm. Oh, Billy. it's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. And apparently, so you know, do you know how the Olympics this year had breakdancing? Yes, because as you told me, and that's the only thing I knew about it. So th- this Australian girl was not good at all. 
so bad and everyone was like how the fuck did this girl get in and it turns out she was like on the selection committee with her husband and so she picked herself to do it and it was like a big joke like she can't break dance at all but she became an internet icon she literally like i had the privilege to watch this live while it was happening like on tv one of her moves she just started like bouncing like a kangaroo like it was a joke a big fat joke is there like does she have like a really like specific look or something yeah they have like a, an outfit on it looks like almost like a track suit um okay. she had like a matching track outfit on and like a, a green hat oh my God, i'm gonna have to look at the stuff you right have now. to look into the lore of the australian breakdancer it's, wow. it's a deep dive and now she's like getting shit because like she basically got her way paid to go to like the olympics and she sucks mm. That's crazy. Um, but I, so I what think was I'm your... going to end up doing another costume. Anyway, what was your like last adulty one that was like one on one vibes? Was it Takashi? I would say no. It was not Takashi Six Nine, although that was a great one. I like did the whole like tattoos on my face. I had the rainbow wig. It was great. Oh, it's kind um, of coming back to me. Yes, I think my last adult one. I was Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell. Is that the like main seems one? Like you don't know who that is. Saved by the Bell is like a '90s show. No, I know, but I didn't watch it. Is that? He's just like blonde boy, teen heartthrob. I just like did my hair like him, and I got like one of those fake old school like cell phone things. And besides that, like I feel. Oh, I was um. I don't want to say I was like Pauly D, but I was like a Jersey Shore esque character. Like a Guido. A few years ago, a Guido when my hair was short and I like blew out my hair and I wore like a Nike sweatband and I walked around Play, which is now District, the bar, and I printed out like fifty of the note from Jersey Shore, oh. Oh, and I kept just passing it out to everyone. <laughs> and That's I was I would so go to people and be like, "Who wrote the note? You two. <laughs> And I just kept doing that all night. And I was, oh, man, that was a wild night. That's pretty iconic. <laughs> yeah, I had, like, a big, like, so, gold chain on, tracksuit, wife beater. Yeah. Weirdly, like, I am, like, very into Halloween and, like, the spookiness and, like, the vibes. But I've never really been a dresser upper. I think it's because I weirdly, like, I guess don't really like the attention of it. Mm. But, like, I also, I don't know. I just, it's never been my thing. I I hate the i y in general like it stresses oh, me you? out i love crafts i, love, I love people who do it because it can't be me yeah respect <laughs> even things like coloring like i wish i liked coloring but it pisses me off because if oh, it's not me perfect too. me too i think the last time i got dressed up i was just a gothic vampire and i did basic ass makeup and like i had oh my god i think hair. i do remember that now that you're saying that i think yeah, i mean you being basic <laughs> I yeah I edited an Instagram photo and I made the picture look really cool <laughs> using Facetune. I'm crying, <laughs> and that's the, like the best part of it. I even made it in the Facetune like I made it look like I had fangs in, but I did it. I'm dead. <laughs> Fraud. So yeah, I feel like if I had a fucking boyfriend, like I would do like a fun oh, thing please. like that. You know what? Every girl I've dated in the past, actually, I can't say that. Because I would do, like, couples costumes. For years, Billy, I have been dying, dying to do the Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake matching denim outfits. No one... Like, I have no shame. I'll look like a fool on Halloween. But every girl wants to be a hoe. Uh A little slut. Uh And good on you. But, like, it's also supposed to be fun. Yeah. Susan, I think, has been trying to do that with Rob for the past, like five years but he you know what in. susan like i might have to come down there and and yeah we'll do it together perfect. perfect but i i would love to do fun silly stuff like i totally love the funny couples outfits but one mm-hmm. year i was um the joker and harley quinn with my ex-girlfriend and we slayed that pretty hard mm-hmm. like uh, real hard uh, um but i love cust- couples costumes i love the idea of it yeah, I feel like that I would be, like, most inspired if it was, like, a couple costume mm. thing. Mm-hmm. But I hate the dumb um, ones, like, ketchup and mustard. Like, you put no effort into that. You like, went to Party City and picked out The outlet everybody. and the plug. Oh, stupid. <laughs> dumb. Yeah, no. So dumb. I'd like to be, like, an iconic couple, like, Daphne and Fred. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfect you know you know shaggy and scooby i'll do that mm-hmm. even you know mm-hmm. some mm-hmm. kind of duo sonny and Cher. oh i actually Hello. love <laughs> lesbians doing velma and daphne i think that's cool mm. a lesbian lower oh yeah a big lesbian lore they were definitely in love just saying getting high together <laughs> for sure <laughs> Is that or is all my questions? <laughs> yeah, I ruined half of Billy's questions. <laughs> I ruined this episode. No, it was still fun and cute and cozy. I feel like it just... <laughs> oh, I, th- I forgot to write this down. I just feel Fall Autumn has this special vibe that makes everyone feel something like no other. Yeah. But I guess that's kind of opinion-y. I, or is it like I just feel the... like that because it's like back to school time, fresh start nostalgia um, overload a little nostalgia definitely uh, to me like because summer is like my play season like i'm not really working on personal growth during the summer i'm playing hard mm-hmm. and i feel mm-hmm. like once september rolls around like after labor day and the leaves start changing something in my brain clicks and it's like okay girl time to get back into it like this is this is grind time mm-hmm. well that's not that like cozy but <laughs> yeah it's not cozy but like i don't know to me that's just like how i always felt no i get but also that. like i get like a little depressed because it's like i think back of like back to school even though i have not been in school in years mm, same do you ever have dreams where like or not dreams but like do you ever wake up and like think you're like late to school still <laughs> no thank god oh my god billy i don't know what's been happening with me but like three days last week i woke up like in a cold sweat like oh, what 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 do i have to do today do i have to go to school like no I'm, like, way fucking sunday yeah Wow. There was a few weeks ago I got home from work and I was like, wait, do I have homework tonight? I'm like, bitch, you haven't had homework in eight years. And I never did homework. <laughs> but yeah, I get like random. I guess I guess it's like PTSD war flashbacks at this point. Uh-huh. Um, But yeah, I, I, I have those random moments where I'm like, oh, my God, I have school today. Oh, wait, I told you this, but I didn't tell the young millennials I hit the vape after two months. It's OK. It's OK. I hit the vape yesterday. I, yeah, I said Lex does it, so I can too. <laughs> Billy sent me a voice note wasted. He was like, I hit the, well, he actually sent me a selfie and a video of him hitting the vape, and the video of him hitting the vapes ends with him coughing abruptly. Like, <clears throat> <laughs> and then he sent me a fucking voice note, and he's like, I told myself that Lex hits the fucking vape, so can I. <laughs> and it was like all long and drawn out and listen i support you as long my rule is as long as you're not buying your own vape yeah as no, long as and, you're not I, bu- and it's as long as it's not a daily occurrence yeah no and i kind of did it because it was like the same vibe as the weed thing like i'm not gonna hit it like i'm gonna mm-hmm. go back to day one back to day two but like but it scared like, me a little, little bit hiccups to to show yourself why you're not doing that anymore yeah it scared you a little bit you said yeah like just every time it's around like i hope i don't i don't know it just was a different vibe for this weekend and like i just don't want to get back well, into anything yeah but i was really thinking about it before that too like i just okay. like it was it was there that's like okay. i wanted to, mm-hmm. but i guess Give that's yourself negative grace. thinking yeah <laughs> we're not mad at yeah. you we love you <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> yeah anything you want to wrap up or say or <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. I think so. I'm going to upload something to my Patreon and then I might do like a kind of clean, like a fall clean instead of a spring clean. Yeah. I am uh, I think I need to go get some sun and contemplate the meaning of life. And Maybe then, I'll walk Nelly. Yeah. And then I also think I have to go to Target and I like don't want to do that. For so, what? Just a few things. Nothing crazy. Mm. Necessities. Um, and Target I have to Target kind of really slays. Target used to be that girl, and then she fell off for a few years, and she's so back. I, she she's might like not be very better than anymore. ever. She's not very affordable anymore. I mean, I still like the jeans that I wanted. I think they were like twenty five or thirty five dollars. And the clothes, yes, definitely. I get some good clothes from Target. Half my wardrobe yeah. is like Target. Mm. So, like, you think the price range for the clothes is okay? Yeah, clothes good, okay. but I'm talking like, why is toothpaste ten dollars? Granted, I get like the fancy toothpaste, but like, why are you ten dollars? It's toothpaste, <laughs> yeah. things like that. 
stupid right. things that I don't want to have to buy. But unfortunately, if you want to be a clean person, you have to buy these things. Mm -hmm. So, and like my, my face creams and serums and toners. And I don't want to spend $15 on toner, but I have to. Mm -hmm. I fucking have to. That's so. like the minimum of a toner too. So. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like CeraVe basic, you know. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. not getting La Roche Pose, whatever, the, you know. No, Peter they Thomas all do Rob. the same thing. The, no, literally. So mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't want to go, but I have to go. So maybe just, I'll do that too. Maybe I won't. Just romanticize everything. <laughs> oh, when I'm feeling like this, it's hard to. I need, this yeah. is like when I'm in this little funk, I need to be laying on a beach in Florida. Like, mm -hmm. if I had the money, I would have flew Well, good down thing you have a beach right down your block. Yeah, fucking disgusting beach. But <laughs> I will I will go on a beach walk today. That will yeah. help me a little bit. But I don't know. I just need to be, like, rotting in the sand in a lounge chair mm -hmm. with, like, actual that. nice water. But it's it's okay. I'm going to be okay. We're going to... At least it's nice out today, you said, right? Yes, it's beautiful. It's, like, a nice, like, 68... 70 ish degrees if it helps if you were here you wouldn't be able to do it because i'm pretty sure it's like pouring so oh perfect so mm -hmm. even better i feel better okay yeah. we're gonna go out i'm gonna run my heart out all right and we're gonna do some fall stuff i'm gonna decorate lean into it cozy lean core in. cozy core <laughs> <laughs> love that all right thank you guys for watching make sure you do your homework and don't say the word homework like i have this. ptsd <laughs> uh, i actually got that from good children it's just an easy way to wrap it up <laughs> give this a thumbs up if you're watching five stars if you haven't and we hope to see you guys next time real quick we're actually like low-key building a little fan base and i love it like mm. people are listening i was gonna say as much as i could be like negative and stuff when people or when we pop off or like the more people that come in i feel so good about our catalog that like people will eventually like be binging us and mm -hmm. like i just feel so good about the work that we're creating <laughs> living in delusion love that for us <laughs> but yeah no I, I people like come up to me and they talk about the podcast and it's uh, a really good feeling and i love that can't so. really but i'm living through you <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I tell everyone. I, I pass it along to you. I, I tell you. I Which but really it helps. means so much to me. Like, it really makes me so happy. And mm -hmm. again, intrusive thoughts. I'm like, oh, no one listens. But then, like, people literally tell me, like, oh, my God. No, like, I listen. And I, I mm -hmm. love what you said. So, Yay. someone, my friend at work, real quick, and then we can end. My friend yep. at work listens at night on Wednesdays after it comes out. And she was like, my husband hears me listening to, or watching on YouTube. And she was like... My husband said that you can lead a cult. You're very influential. Like, he feels like people listen to you. And I'm like, wow, love that for me. What cult am I starting? Let's think about it. The this. young millennial cult. The young millennials cult. Stand up, bitches. But that <laughs> stuff, it keeps me going. It really, it makes me feel good. And uh, I'm loving what we're doing. So, Oh, real quick. Have you read that book? <laughs> because that's bit. like... It's like next week. I know, I know. I have to I'm I'm don't worry. Don't worry. I perform well under pressure. Okay. I was always a procrastinator with schoolwork. Don't worry, Billy. Don't worry. I got this. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't <laughs> very love and light. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward sweat. Billy's wiping the sweat. Billy's gonna be freaking out about this book club now until we go we do the book club. So oh, I'm gonna do canceled. it. Don't worry. I promise you, I promise you. It's fine. I'm a grown up. I'm gonna do it. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, peace, love, and light. We out. Bye. Bye.